Ladies and gentlemen, you see them on Fox News, CNN, and this morning is here with us. Phil Black. We had a line of fire, so they're over here close to the wall. And uh, so thanks for coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Come back. But uh, Bill, Bill, you'll have the opportunity to talk about your uh, Wall Street Journal article feedback later on. But we'll have, as Corey asked me about this a few weeks ago, we'll have one more discussion after our main presenter. Um, and our main presenter is Suzanne Moore. So let's, let's give Suzanne a hand for being here today. Folks. Okay, now you remember uh, a week or so ago we had an introduction to the Ponzi scheme song, the world premiere here, and uh, former uh, county councilman David Jane just had a request. David, what was that request? I don't know what was the name of that song you sang last week. I thought that was better than the Ponzi song. That was a Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. Mr. Gaddix, who's the author of Mountain Dew. Is now, just don't worry, and, and now Mr. Gates there at Gingrey, so don't just be ignoring you, don't, don't worry about that, I know you, that's one of your heroes, but, uh, so what I'd like you to do is sing your song, and, and do, do, the, uh, do the Ponzi scheme song, and then, if you will, introduce uh, Suzanne, and then she'll do about a 10 minute presentation. Or less. Or less. Then, 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 then we'll take a Q and A, and then we'll go back to our normal interaction discussion. We have plenty to discuss, especially with this ordinance that was just introduced at what county level. And Phil Black, uh, Phil, you've got five minutes if you want to speak. You want five minutes? It's going to time. Okay. It's hard to follow. Good looking lady there. Good. Good to get used to it. No. Do I find the Steve the moderator? My wife was watching the film last week. He had me speak talking about my book. I was a, a part of my book. All of a sudden, Steve said, well, All right, good. <laughs> Well, I said, sure. What did you do that for? Well, I said, Hey, that's Steve. When he's not tired of hearing what you're talking about, he'll cut you off. <laughs> 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 Nothing personal, David. <laughs> y'all want to, you see, y'all got some copies of this uh, Ponzi song. We're going to do this and then we're going to retire it. <laughs> <laughs> Give this to Wes a copy and he just sang it. Chorus. They, they want to have a Ponzi scheme song. This, this is in honor of Mr. Gates. This is in honor of who? This is in honor of Mr. Bill Burbage, who has brought to everybody's attention in the United States that the Social Security system that we now enjoy is and has been from the beginning. I'm sorry. A Ponzi scheme. I don't enjoy it. I enjoy it. <laughs> I was telling this gentleman over here, by the way, Corey, you need to know this. I got a notice from the Social Security last week that I that said, Mr. Giddings, did you know that, uh, well, you, you get $255 for funeral expenses when you die. So I wrote on a postcard back and said, well, okay, what you want me to do? <laughs> why, why am I getting a notice? <laughs> I knew that for the, ever since I got started. You seen there there's some payout for, for your. But that's service. another thing. Yeah, just in case you know people know. didn't know that not only are you having to pay for this monthly check that we get, they're going to give us $255 for everyone of us that'll die off. And Obamacare <laughs> <laughs> is coming to make sure that you die off. Kind of like a buyout. They try to get a deal where if you die in the next three years, you'll get those back. Is that right? <laughs> well, I said no, that. Drone box. Every <laughs> time I go to the VA over at VA, you, uh, you stop before you get there. Did, did you watch the first part? I go over to VA and uh, get my little uh, medical stuff, you know, that they can't find nothing wrong with it. You know, I'll but the little nurses over there, they'll be taking your pulse and they say, Kenny said, do you think much about suicide? 
<laughs> I said, no, but they found in that bag of shit, and you think it'll help. I gave it some thought. <laughs> the little girl said, oh, no, no. <laughs> she wasn't suggesting that I do it. We just have to ask all of us old cards, right, if we think about it. Some guys put us on some kind hand. of dope, see. All right. That's uh, you got your copy there. Anybody, anybody <coughs> wants to sing along with it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to give a, like two sentence history of why the song is here? Um, a little background before we sing it, leading into Mr. Burbage's discussion. Mr. Mr. Burbage, uh, uh, relates to everybody and his brother, presidents, governors, <laughs> newspapers, whoever, <laughs> and rails out against the Social Security program now. I appreciate his efforts in that in that line. We don't know what we can do about it, and we if, uh, and we're not we're not we we we're, we're on his side with it as a mess. I'm 74 years old and I draw Social Security, and nobody's paying my Social Security, y'all. The young people say, "Well, we're paying for your Social Security." Well, ain't I paid for it? Now what, the money? now what the government did with my money, I don't know. But Mr. Burbage right. said that Charlie Ponzi taught them how to steal it, and they stole it. So uh, Steve said, write him a song, and, and, uh, and let's, uh, let's do a song on it. So I sit down and stroke out the song right in there. It says, uh, after World War I, things were really bad. Poor people lost everything they had. They didn't have no food, no job, no car. I'm up on the scene, came FDR. <laughs> now I don't know, but it does seem his plan for the people was a Ponzi scheme. Lord Charlie Ponzi, what have you done? He showed the politicians how to work their tricks. They took all that money and now we're in the fix. Well, he promised everybody an awful lot. A good job and a chicken in every pot. The people said, man, that sounds so good. Said they vote for him if he thought he could. If the all said, I can get it done. I got social security for everyone. Lord, child, and what have you done? We'll just say that. He got all excited. He was on the road. Going to take care of everybody when they got old. How are they going to do it? Said, what the heck? <laughs> Let's take a little money out of everybody. I'll take what it's Put it in the bank. And invest it for you. And you have a nice pension when you're 62. 62. Lord Charlie Ponzi, what have you done? You sure the politicians got to work your tricks. They took all that money. Now we're in a fix. Or Charlie Ponzi, what? Thank you, Mr. Ponzi. 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 Thank you, Mr.